Okay, I have never played Animal Well before. I know a little bit about it, uh, not very much, but I know that this is from Donkey's Publishing Company, uh, which I'm really glad to hear that he made a game that's very critically well-received. Um, I also know that it has some kind of knowledge as progression aspect to it, but I don't know any of the details other than that. People like it and think it's really good. Uh, and I've listed it alongside other games that I think are very good, like Tunic and Void Stranger and the like, so... Outer Wilds. That's exciting for me. I already like the art style. Don't know if the audio balance is right. It looks okay now, but let me know if it's too loud or quiet when we start. Wake up. Oh. A little guy. A little guys. Found a clover egg. Make it up there eventually, presumably. I have a count of eggs, I see. Kind of a Metroidvania styling. Can I swim? No, okay. Game's really quiet, but it's quiet in my own ear right now, so I'm not gonna adjust the volume just yet. Probably something, maybe? Not really. He spawns me up there, though, when I fall. Phone, telephone. Okay, it's fun. Turn crank. Drop through platforms, doesn't look like it. I see, I need to get all three of the little yellow blocks. Or I could do this. The game does not autosave. Okay, good looking out. That's fun. This is a really good room for teaching me what the game is about, I think. So you can kind of see where you're going there. It's one of my favorite kinds of secrets in a Metroidvania is kind of noticing the path you have to take to get where they want you to go. Okay, makes sense. Nice. Firecracker. X to throw. That's cool. Guess it doesn't work in water. Pass it through water, though. Hello? Draws that guy's attention.
Okay. I'm gonna land on top of that. Let's see how. Wait for me to drop through the floor here, maybe through this way. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. Unlit candle. Can't do anything with it yet, but I know that it's there. Okay. Oop, shoot. Really like the look of this game. And the feel is outstanding, although they're just going to throw you into it. Okay. Found a map. That's pretty helpful. The map immediately points out any secrets to me. Turn the audio up a hair here. Okay, so this is like the uh, statues in Super Metroid, I assume. So seahorse, wolf, Iguana, ostrich. All right, and there's some minor statues like uh, squirrels. It's cute. Oh, even more statues. Started one health down, so I know how those work. Okay. Let me go back really quick. I don't think I can get up here, right? It's fine. Well, little animals everywhere. Whack. Whoa. Okay, well, I don't yet know if this is going to be a I need to take screenshots game, but I went a little overboard with that when I played Void Stranger, so I'm maybe going to not do it just yet. Probably will have to do it later. Can move these lights. Does that do anything? Perhaps. Locked. Okay. I like the particle effects on things that presumably can hurt you. You have to damage boost. Ah. Uh, all right, I anticipated that. Nice. I feel like this game is gonna end up being like Fez, but not annoying to me. <laughs> I guess Fez had to walk so a game like this could run, but. Ostrich slash emu door. Okay. Another unlit candle. Like that they call attention to it there. So we see the light affects these things. So that's information. Ouch. Useful information. Thanks for the fruit. 
I don't have any now, that sucks. Interesting. Oh, cute. Oh, but they have a similar relationship to light, okay. So I can get them to get out of phase with each other. And this will let me jump on this one. Nice. That's great. Okay. Ouch. It's fine. Okie doke. These fellas. It's a switch up there. Okay. Okay, but I don't have a double jump. It's too dark to see the map. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Ouch, didn't see that spike. Oh, spooky. Spikes. Chill out, I'm just a little guy. What's the catch with this one? That's the catch. Interesting. I was gonna say, I doubt this is actually a dead end. Whoa. Okay, well, that's pretty spooky. Let's see what's up here first. I was worried that was going to be a one-way path there. Okay. And this might essentially be a shortcut. Let's see. I do want to deal with the emu, obviously, but I haven't saved in a minute, so... It is a shortcut. Beautiful. Okay, let me go find a phone really quick. here oh, okay what's the okay I'm learning something here can he hit the switch he can that's a good piece of information okay I need to start an animal well text file we're gonna have significant gaps in between sessions so uh, animal well all right so Floating rat heads can flip switches if they hit them. Some uh, glowy things can cease to exist when exposed to bright light, which you can use for platforming. Okay. You essentially get Mega Man blocks out of that. And a key. Alright, 
Let's see. What's your deal? Can I hide? Oh, ho, 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 that's fun. I like that. Walking precisely is a little tricky, though. Oh, jeez. Okay, so I was able to scare it away. Oh, wrong side. Well, it's not like a monster. Firecrackers to spook it there. Okay. I'll do. No idea how to get to that chest right now. I should hug a wall. Okay. committed to being on this part of it, which is fine. Nice. I did see a door up there. Don't know what, if anything, I can do with it. And it's just water. Okay. Yeah, it looks gorgeous. This game is really pretty. I know a lot of people were dunking on Dunky for saying, like, I feel like I can be a good publisher because I'm, I've am i played a lot of games, so I know what games are good. People are like, it's a lot, it's a lot harder to do publishing than that. And it's like, I don't know. I feel like a lot of people, a lot of publishers know fuck all about games, and that's why the games they put out are trash, right? My understanding of what Dunky does is basically just finds some indie dev and just gives them a bunch of money. Yo-yo. Oh, that's cool. What does that do, though? It looked like I was about to maybe get a, a double jump in the previous room. Maybe not. It's lit up. Okay. So you can use it to move lamps. Yeah, exactly. It was just like hanging out at PAX. Oh, I see. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. All right, so what's the trick with this one? Learning a lot about the tricks here. Okay, that's cute. do it from jumping. It's probably not how I'm intended to do it, but just out of curiosity. Probably not. It's like you fall in the water pretty abruptly there. happens if I do that? Okay, it just gets all fast and crazy. Hmm. So I assume this is some kind of like physics shenanigan. There we go. Okay. I'm not very good at those. Despite being married to a physicist, I never took a physics class in high school. Jewel. Why does that say jewel? Let's see. Does the bird meaningfully interact with that? Okay. Get 
them out of phase with each other. I do like this as like a core interaction of finding all the yellow buttons in a room. Oh, and now I'm learning Yo-Yo can pass through floors that I assume I would be able to drop through. Okay, put that down. Yo-Yo can pass through floors. Spectral mouse heads do not give a shit about my yo-yo, it seems. Yeah, that makes sense. I like that they have that little audio effect when they bounce off things. It's nice. I don't think I appreciated that I physically can't jump off a bird. Unless if it is stopped by something or phases out of existence when it touches a light. So, if that's the case, can I get down there and lock this bird up somewhere else, perhaps? Do sort of respond to the yo-yo. Ouch. Named Iguanador. Oh, I see. They have to simultaneously be pressed. Gotcha. That's in that room I was just in. Okay. Good. Sine wave and like a fish. <laughs> All right, I don't know what this maps to yet, but that's interesting. Oh, oh, now I do. Like, am I gonna have to come back here later? No. Like it should be possible, but I'm also wondering if there's something else that like gives me the answer more directly, you know. I'm sure that I follow what the difference is between the third lever. Okay, I think I can get it. It's very close. First try. Okay. Jade egg. I assume the eggs are just collectibles like um, strawberries and Celeste. I like that I can use the yo-yo as a light source. They do matter, okay. Yeah, okay. I feel like I probably could have shenaniganed that somehow, but... Now, why would there be this gap down here? Hmm. Maybe just let the water fall through. Still suspect shenanigans there. I like this game has no combat. That's really neat. A Metroidvania with no combat. I think it works. There must be a way, although I guess the idea is I jump down and then I can get on the next platform from there. Okay. No, that doesn't get me there. Ah, 
Uh -uh. Feels like I'm stuck, but I'm pretty sure I can't be stuck. Must be some other path through here. How frequently should you suspect shenanigans? There is kind of an interesting pattern in the background of this room. I don't know if that matters at all, though. Okay, I do still technically have... Firecrackers, I don't have any on me. Oh, I missed this. Okay. Much easier to get out than I thought it was. I see. Couldn't physically see them a second ago. Yeah, I thought I just dropped down, though. Okay, I don't want to die here. Don't know that I have the tools to get past that right now. So if there's another secret path that I just missed. Giraffe. Actually kind of impressed how good the like animal theming works. Oh, poor little guy. Okay, so I guess there's no defeating him, they're just getting him to temporarily drop his shield. Come on. Okay. Not gonna die. Don't think I can hit that. not be able to get behind him. I don't think I can turn him around because I can't quite reach him from back here. There we go. Oh, now he's aggroed. I see. Gotcha. Give me the chest. Thank you. Actually, a little nervous about this area down here. Okay, maybe it's just there for display. Why are you here, Mr. Bird? To make it so I don't accidentally fall? Hmm. Oh, right, I have keys. forgot about that. Can I see my stuff somewhere? 12 minutes since last save. <laughs> Fantastic. I know where this is. Hey. I'm trying to find the inventory button. There it is. Spiral level design. Oh, hello. Give me a second, sir. It's probably the closest one. I'm just going to hit it because it's been a while. I was saying, I forget what game we were playing when I brought it up. It might have been Doom, but... I don't think that a game having spiral level design is a guarantee that it's a good game, but usually it's a good sign, right? It means that the 
developer is actively thinking about the player experience. Okie dokie. Why is the inventory button? Let me write that down. RB equals switch tools. Back equals map. So that's the kind of stuff I'll forget in between episodes. It's pretty cool down here. That's still blocked off, although it needn't be. Did I never go right on the screen? I guess not. No, I did. It just didn't map the room because it's too dark. Okay, so there's still a switch, though. There's still a wall at the bottom that I could flip the state of later, potentially. All right. Let's keep looking over this way. Firecracker. Okay, there's spikes up there that I can spit it through. Got another key, nice. Anything else over this way? There should be an exit in the northwest corner. I don't have a way to jump up there. I feel like the new hot thing in a Metroidvania is like, what do you do about the double jump, right? Do you just do a straight up regular ass double jump? If this game has one, that's fine, but I'd be kind of amused. Ha <laughs> ha, I thought so. All right, I'll write that down. Found a match. Oh, okay, well, I know what to do with that. Uh, you can walk on cat guards' heads at least after hitting them in the back. All right, does, can he break blocks? Is that what I'm learning here? Can't. Okay. Cool. Let's see. I think I'm done down here. I can go back up. I just want to double check if I missed anything obvious. So I didn't note where the candles were. I remember there one being one near the start of the game, so I'll go back in that direction. I don't know if match matches are in fact consumable, like keys are consumable. Okay. I'm surprised they went. It seems like keys are like small keys in Zelda that they can just open any number of locked doors. That must have been a huge hassle for the level design. Making sure you're always able to. They probably just do a thing where like whenever you go into an area that has locked doors in it, it can always refund a certain number of keys to you. Don't screw yourself. That's an easier thing to manage, I feel like, in a uh, in like a Zelda game where the dungeon's relatively small. Great. Okay. Through the floor here, here. Light candle. Okay. So that did use up my match, but to what end? Assume it's just lit forever now. Seems like it's highlighting some shapes in the background. Hmm. Okay, well, I don't know what that did yet. It's 
roll with it for now. Can't get up there. Pretty good with that direction. There's still a couple of areas I could scope out, but let's try going somewhere else just for fun. Hummingbird. And beavers. Pretty koala. How is that possible? Probably not with my current tools. Hmm, okay. Sorry, little hedgehog. It's a force of habit. Oh, they do hurt. Okay. Let's see. So cute. Let's see, grayed out blocks here. I see a little question mark behind me. What does that mean? guy. What's up? Can I walk on your head? Cute little guy. I guess if you hadn't yet established that you can climb on certain creatures' heads, this room would make you suspect it for sure. Alright, we still have blocks. Excuse me. Um, we can't walk on these guys. Couple paths up. the environment design with the different big animal statues. It's very metroid -y. I don't want to go further that way for now. Thing? No. Whoa! Big uh, peacock. Stamps. What the hell? So I have map, I have stamps. Oh, that would have been pretty helpful a while ago. Gotcha. Okay, so let me add a note about that to my future Mars text file. Now have stamps to place on the map. Use them religiously. All right. Well, I would have done that if I had it a while ago, but now that I have it, I'll try to remember to use it as I explore. Oh, is that how many eggs I have? It is. Okay. So bring a bunch of eggs to the peacock room. Write that down. It's marked with an egg on the map. Bring eggs to peacock room marked on map with big egg go up here doggos it's a little, a little spooky Take disc. Spooky puppy's unhappy with me. Oh, he just wants to play fetch. Okay. 
probably still hit that one with the, uh, oops. Yeah, I thought so. My life's slightly easier. No answer, I guess, not while I'm being attacked. the atmosphere of this game. It's like perfect. This way. He does go, he does chase after it. His face that damages me. Okay. Don't think any of the food respawns, sadly. Every time I throw it, he comes at me faster. Right. So when it sends me back, do I lose progress? Yes, I do. Okay, that's fine. Also, don't have. Well, I kept the stamps, but not the disc. Oh wait, am I going the right way? Could also try exploring this area without having the disc on me. Oh, that door stayed open, okay. So happy, little puppy. Okay, that was the angle I needed. Oh, that's mean. Throw the animal the disc. gets his attention. Way to convey to you that that's a thing. Hit that from the other side. I don't know if it remembers my yellow button presses. easier to see what's going on in the room. And platform in the top right. Oh, it's too bad I don't have the match. That would be great to have it right here. Okay. It's okay. All right, that was fun to explore. Didn't get anything incredible through there, though. That's mighty suspicious. Didn't mean to use that immediately. I physically need the disc to get past the pupper. Okay, I see.
Something going on with that room. I see a switch here. Let me see. I don't think I can get the dog to follow me in here. Okay, so the disc can hit the switch. Oh, I see. But it has to flip it in the right direction. Okay. I just don't want to have the dog following me right now because I can't think about what I want to do. I can put it back. I'm taking him to the room with the uh, candle from earlier. Doesn't care about the candle, it seems like. Already been up here. That's how we got to that secret a while ago. Yeah. Don't think I'm doing anything with the disc here. Let's go ahead and suicide. Uh, way of the samurai. Oh, those are windows, the blocks in the background. I didn't realize that before. Oops. See that? Oh, there's a switch up there. I see it. Excuse me, Mr. Dog. Another match. I can maybe take to that dark room. Get there alive, though. if it's helpful. Alright, so I think there's actually a phone near here to explain that I can't freely save. The dog's on my ass. Yeah, this one. I can go there with relative safety. And maybe explore around a bit. I won't have the um, the disc. Which looks like it's helpful for hitting certain switches and avoiding the dog. Last time I didn't even need to go past this guy. You don't know me. You act like you know me. Last time I was here, there were a bunch of freaking dogs everywhere. I think I died. Oh shit, I didn't see those spikes. So I see a statue. I've seen a couple statues now with special icons on them. That one's got a heart on it, it looks like. 
So that like vaguely lights up this room. Interesting. Well, I didn't really need it, but it helps people to see a room. Oh, there is a platform up there that I can't get up to, it looks like. Yep, that's totally a thing. If there's a double jump. Oh, here we go. Locked, but there's another button on the right side, which looks like it's just a shortcut, perhaps. Okay, so there should be another switch in here to raise this block. Unless if it's below me. There's another one of those pillars with a heart on it. Here it is. Try getting on the block in case there's anything up there. Assume I can get squished. I have some vision as to what I'm doing while I raise this guy. have to get to it from up there which is kind of frustrating i don't know if it actually leads to anything but it's just a it's a place i would put a secret if i was making the game Get me. Oh, you can get me. Doesn't really bother the dog. Okay. Excuse you. Okay. Alright, I might need to make it back here with the disc, but I guess it's kind of interesting to think about, like, exploring with and without it. So that you know where you're going and what you're doing, essentially. Nice. Um, more dog statues. I think there's probably more in this room than it looks like. No. Okay, and I think I can come back after I get this. Mock disc, okay, I see. So now I can sub. Now I can have the disc without having the dog chasing me constantly. Uh, the wiener dog, oh, can he like follow me through tighter? <laughs> I love video games, I really do. Although that's like kind of spooky, but just kind of silly at the same time. Nightmare fuel when I was a kid, probably. Ouch. I haven't saved in a minute. Shit. Let's get out of here. I think I have to go the long way around to get past that guy, sadly. Alright, well, I know what to do if I die. Not completely unacceptable. I think I need to just need to go right there. Excuse me. Okay, let's go save. Thank you for the healing. A lot of the upgrades in this game feel like, I mean, literally are toys. 
Swap disc. Gotcha. So I could keep going past where he was. I don't think I have a way to get back up to where I dropped down a second ago. I don't think I opened a shortcut or anything. back all the way around just because I know there's a switch I can hit from there. Oh, here it is. I guess I did open a door, didn't I? Nice little convenience. There we go. And that doesn't actually give me progress. It's also just a convenient shortcut, but I will take all the convenient shortcuts I can get. Okay. Uh, da -da -da -da. Red thing on the map there. I need to start using my stamps. I forgot I just unlocked those. Let me just take the disc further in in case there's a thing I missed. some shenanigans with the disc. I don't know what exactly, but the fact that I can throw it, switch tools, and then press other buttons is interesting and surprising. Oh, that's interesting. Is that the chain from the room below me? Huh. That's not a stamp right there, right? I don't know what that is. Yeah, I think that was the same chain. I don't think it does anything interesting for me. Okay, so I wouldn't be surprised if there's some kind of like Hard to see thing I can disc from on top of that platform? Maybe not. Oh, okay, that's helpful. So you can find your way back. You lose some, but not all progress. Right, this room I should be able to do differently now that I have this guy. I have to remember that the order in which it can go, I can only flip the switch in the direction I'm throwing the disc. Okay, nice. Spooky skull room, some animals in it. Mm hmm. Might be able to hit both of those switches if I can lure those little guys over. What the fuck? <laughs> That's pretty amazing. So I can ride on my own disc. I don't know if the other guy's making movement. There we go. Yeah, I got it. Nice. Red egg. Okay. Oh, it looks more like a happy face than a skull. This game's vibes are immaculate. Okay, let me add a note about that. Uh... I wonder if I needed to keep track of that noise. Do do do, do do do, do do do, do do do. 
and right on disk uh on Yeah, I think it's cool. Oh, and you got a sleeping mechanic. After playing La Mulana, I can't not expect bullshit with that. Okay, let me think. We. Oops, right. I don't know that I can really use that as like a double jump. That's gonna bounce. Can use it to get height though. Okay, so that's your fun pseudo double jump, I guess. Can I get more height with it though? Yeah, nice. Uh, okay. Okay. Um, that's going to be tricky. I'll try to do it. I think I need to do this first. So you don't want to bounce off the stage, so that's not ideal. Well, they definitely made the ceiling to be as annoying as possible for the thing I'm trying to do. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Did it in midair before? Now it's stuck, okay. That's hard, okay. I might abandon this in a second. I feel like it's probably possible, but it's like trying to force a bomb jump to happen. It's pretty good. I like it as a weird kind of unintentional early progression mechanic. Actually, I can get higher up there than I thought I could. Oh, well, that's not what I meant to do. Oop, shoot. Hey, Jazz, how you doing? All right, I think I'm going to bail on this just because it just probably isn't worth the time, and I'm sure I'm going to get something that's much faster. I'm just a little patient, but... Okay, so you can, like, jump off the wall... I want to do that. So you can do this, you can ride, and then you can jump off the wall and then try to jump to it. But I think I just happened to get really lucky in my timing the first time. I'm not good enough to be able to make that happen consistently, so I'm going to bail on it for now. Cool tech, though. Missing something in this room. Too dark to see. Oh, thanks. Good call. Can I stamp from anywhere? Yes. Oh, but the room was dark. Didn't realize that room counted as dark. Thanks. I completely forgot that I could stamp. Doesn't. I see. It's not a super helpful stamp since the map already shows a gap, which is like the de facto stamp in this kind of game, but it's okay. 
Big fan of the wiener dog. Would have given me nightmares as a kid. Freaked me the hell out. Okay, so I have a kind of an idea. Can I jump on it like as I throw it? Not really, I don't think I have the speed. It has to bounce off something. It can't bounce off the previous screen. Hmm. Both end up flipping the same way. I wonder if I can stop it from bouncing. Oops. No, it just de instantiates the frisbee. Um, hmm. Oh, I think I get it. Gotcha. Straight forward. Both switches do the same thing, and I just learned how they work. But they won't be doing it from that side. Must be some way. Okay, I think I see. Oh, really? 40 megs is funny. It's really good. It's a kind of a knowledge is progression, no combat Metroidvania. Very smart. Explore everywhere that's on a zone transfer. Game is definitely what I would call extremely my shit. Depraved egg. I think I actually need that needed that uh candle to keep the spooky ghosts out. All right, that's cool. I guess I would like to save. I haven't done anything like super high stakes, but Surprise it doesn't even have a save and quit. I guess this is the same problem as uh, Pacific Drive, right? Like, I respect the no auto save, but I think it should be fine to let you save and resume. I don't think that's should ever really be a problem. Oh, that's where I might learn. Okay. See, I like mechanics like that because I feel like the game is frequently going to put you in circumstances where you'll learn it by accident. Purposeful accidental ex exploration. Okay, do I have a match right now? No. I expect to have a problem in this room. can't reclaim my disc, can I? Hmm. That's interesting. 
Well, what am I learning here? What are they teaching me? I can come up and get the disc, because I can jump up through the platform, right? I need to learn the timing on the tech to be able to gain height and I think it's very doable I think it's like I need to have like a good wall to practice it on then I'd have to get all the way up there which well, no, I think I can actually, if I can just make the one, I can make the other one without too much trouble. Okay. I think that's the trick. I have to be careful not to get the disc stuck somewhere where I can't reclaim it. So I can recast it if I'm on... If I'm riding on it, I can throw it again. But I can't re-throw it if it's just stuck between two walls. Here we go. This game's really good. <laughs> I'm having a really good time with it so far. So I'm guessing the size of the wall there is intentionally set up to thwart me from this exact shenanigan. Okay, well, I'm on this side now. What anything does that accomplish? Possibly nothing. A bunch of turtles and eggs. You know, that doesn't work. Hmm. And I could ride across here, but what end? All right. Well, I proved I could do it. And accomplish nothing. That's fine. Yeah, I feel like the, the game is laid out in such a way that it's very likely you'll discover stuff like that on accident, right? I feel like that's good design. marking that would be. I guess I could. My thought on it not being super helpful was that it was like just got me into the room which I already knew existed. I guess maybe if I get another upgrade later. I don't want to overuse question mark but so just use that if I don't have any other details. So I can keep breaking them after breaking them off. Nice. Uh-huh. Try to operate on pain in the ass theory here as long as we can. There's more to this room than that, right? Like, what's down here? Upside down egg. Well, <laughs> that was much easier than going the, than doing it with the shenanigans, so. At least that's been resolved. Kill this now. Race. Bit of a hike to get back up there, but that's okay. Probably open some shortcuts in route here.
I really like that there's a mix of knowledge's progression and just regular old progression progression. I think that's a nice touch. So I feel like games like Outer Wilds can sometimes be overwhelming, I think, to people who aren't used to that kind of format. Uh, I probably want to check this out, but I keep I still had stuff to do over to the left. I haven't turned around anything so far. Yeah, get the players some cookies once in a while. So you can give them a thing that's just very straightforwardly a normal Metroidvania progression upgrade. Then you can kind of like weave the the knowledge is progression stuff in there in a way that's reasonable for a normie, for lack of a better word. Yeah, this game is really great. I have I have no notes so far. It's basically perfect. I'm just immersed in it and having a good time with it. So. Decided to play more. Okay. Get one of those cute, like, it was like a kangaroo mouse or something. Um, what's up? Let's check out the kangaroo mouse first. Okay, have a guess. I need to make sure I can recover him after he gets stuck in places. Come on, little guy. There you go. And then it has to go above him. I want to squish him. Don't squish him. Cry if I squished him. Yeah, big props to Big Mode and Dunky. Definitely nailed it on the first release. Prove the haters wrong. Been encountering a couple funding groups where it's like, hey, we just have a lot of money because we have a successful YouTube channel or whatever. So if we see your game at PAX and we think it's good, we'll just give you money to cook for a couple of years. Right? That's really good. Do you have a match? Or I thought I had a match. Don't have a match. I got a key. I have three keys. Oh. Okay, those are hard to make out. But I recognize the sound effect. Egg is a surface. <laughs> All the egg names are funny. Circular recess. Not meant to take my disc. That is not a stalactite or something that I can break. my buttons uh so we have a circular recess here i guess i'll use this and then like a wall here these are probably the same thing but whatever it's fine Great room to have a candle in. That's oh, all the way over there, goddammit. It's fine. Have patience. 
have patience. Don't be in such a hurry. Okay. It does come back though, doesn't it? It's interesting. Nothing to bounce off of there. We didn't go into anything directly. I did open that door though, which is neat. I can use this to kind of quickly get an eye. Oh, there's a spooky bat in this room. How spooky. Oh, but I want to see the map so I can mark that there's a there's a bat here. Oh, but it is let me see the map. Okay, weird. Uh, let's put this guy. And then when I leave my future Marsa notes, I can clarify what those all mean. I remember. Might be a thing above me there. down here though. That's nah, just a shortcut. That's not helpful. Okay. And go back up and around to that room that I just opened up. I really find this interesting, the dog statues jumping up at the bowl. Use you. Kidoke. Nice. This looks familiar. Know what that thing is. Ooh, there's a bear head over there. Huh. I can use that to get across. Maybe I'll get a thing that lets me weigh something down in the future. It'd be nice. Commerce ruins art. Can't bounce off this, can I? No, it just drags. This is yet another mysterious water room with a statue. Guess I could ride across from here. Wee, wee, wee. Forbidden egg. Find eight secret eggs. It's like that um, Rose D video about finding all the eggs, but like literal. I wonder if it's inspired by that. Let's see where this takes me. Oh. You're so fancy, game. See you being so tricksy there. All right, so there's multiple buttons. You can hit them temporarily. What happens when I hit the bottom most button? It then hit that one. The symbols have to be significant, right? I guess it's just saying which one it's controlling. Just for fun, I'll write it down, so. Blocks equals square, x equals double pipe. All right, well, they prevented me from doing my cutesy little shenanigan. 
disc shenanigan. I'm gonna try one more disc shenanigan here. Let me see. We. Okay, there's supposed to be a button to raise this guy. Oh yeah, I bet it's up there, right? Hmm. Hard to see. Just the way the lighting engine works, it's not going to be easy to tell there. know if I'm able to reach inside there. It seems like the controls on the yo-yo are a little janky. Kind of direct it, sort of. Almost positive there's a thing up there, but that's okay. Um, if this is high enough. Put my head on the ceiling somewhere, possibly. They have a fuck you ceiling? They sure do. Okay, well, the highest height is the fuck you ceiling. Which was like there. So if we do one lower than I think that might be too high. It's too low. That might be too low, but I'll give it a try. Ooh, perfect actually. All right, what's grooving up here? I still don't have the tool I expect I'm supposed to have to deal with these uh, green buttons. They're literally just telling you which one maps to which one. Can rest the... Okay, so the problem though... Let me see if I can shin and get my way up there. Problem is that I don't have... Whatever power up lets me like place crap on the ground. And that's intentionally not, it's too narrow for me to re throw the disc, I think. Okay. So let me make a thing that means you probably need a weight ability. Uh, I guess we'll say this means I need a weight. Chase the frisbee, which is maybe helpful. Squished. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't think about doing that. Getting them out of phase with each other. I don't think I can move fast enough to do anything with this anyway. Without having a weight that I can set. 
I'm guessing I'm gonna get like a Kana Samaria kind of an upgrade here. All right. Um, I think I'm basically done with this region for now then. I guess I can mark that as a weight room. The main two. Okay, where else can I go? Don't know what to do with the bat. Let's try going all the way east. is a flippable door up there, but I don't think that's helpful to me at all. It's just another way into this room. It's actually the original way into the room. Okay, let's see. That's another weight thingy. Never tried this room out. That's interesting. What's that all about? It's red buttons. Sorry, bird. Okay, don't fuck with the bird. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. My bad. Should be able to phase through those floors or something. Oh, hello. Okay, I can take that match back to the. I'm expecting this to be like a fast travel. Now that I can actually get close to it, maybe not. Um. Go back to the bat really quick now that I have a match. You could also just jump over them instead of riding on the thing. Ouch. I gotta go all the way down and around. Right. Don't need to light that up because I already see the door. Nothing useful I can do with it. Spooky bat. Oh, but I already used up all my stalactites. I think destroying them respawns them. Because I could see if dying respawns them. I did save recently. I like how this game is like kind of scary, but in like a friendly animal way. It has like the vibes of like a 80s horror, like or not 80s horror, but like 80s kids movie, right? Like a Dark Crystal or Never Ending Story or whatever. It's like, it's not supposed to be scary. Yeah, 
exactly. It does respawn them, okay. Yeah, that is notes. Uh, dying respawns things like stalactites and stalagmites. in there and get me. That didn't work the way I expected. Okay. Well, I guess I'm not supposed to fight him. Just spooky that there's a bat in this room. I guess he responds to sound. So what sounds can I make? Hmm. Maybe I need to know something else first to do anything here. It's just a way to get out of here. Okay. All right. Certain shadows, I keep thinking that my character is like a little Jake the dog. Let's go in a totally different direction here. Yeah, but like looking at him in peripheral vision, I keep seeing Jake. Cute little character. I can go here now. Magic of that. It's not real water. Okay. You know now that vines block the uh, disc very annoyingly. Go down slightly whenever I do that. I'm gonna be able to get up there. I don't think so. Now it's not blocking them, that's interesting. I don't know what causes it. Sometimes they get stuck. You can't cut them, I don't think. There's a certain height where you can't. Okay, well. Come on, that's the button I'm looking for. This is a height thing, so for height, I'll say... I'm running out of symbols. <laughs> this is not... I need this to mean candle, so... I guess I'll just... I know there's a chest there. I can put chest. He's a little guy. And I stand in favor of little guys who are also little friends. I think that society would be better if we had more little guys. <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting there. <laughs> it was even able to see the anti-disc vines. Even come this way. Cool. Hmm. 
match. Come on. So it doesn't want me riding over there. So I can hit it with the discus as I jump, I guess. Okay. Virtual egg. I was out there the whole time. Cute. I did the speed run for this game is interesting once you know everything. One of those do not watch the speed run at GDQ as a way to get yourself into the game. Uh, that's interesting. I love the stuff they choose to give sound effects to. It's cool. Nice. Bubbles. Ah, okay. Oh, come on, game. I'll go where you're telling me to go. That's fine. <clears throat> okay, so now we've got the little green block guy. I'm about to do this not the way I'm supposed to. Come on. On. Can't really get up there very easily, right? Because of the. Lines, yeah, that's my concern. That's low enough. This is a suspicious room, to say the least. Lots of spikes. I guess I get in from the northwest corner. Okay, we got our little fish friend again, who I still suspect might be fast travel later. There. Doesn't care about that. Oh, this is an area. Hopefully I can get in a thing to get out of here. Cause I think I'm committed to going down now. Okay, that's cute. Making bubbles. 
You're doing bubbles now. Ouch. This it doesn't kill you. wand a oh, bubble wand oh jesus <laughs> that would have been nice to have a little bit earlier okay, well i'm glad i got to do some goofy tech goofy unnecessary tech yeah so all the upgrades are toys still that's cool the so tech is still helpful for vertical traversal it looks like there's still some shenanigans you can do with the bubbles to get more height. Oh, can I only have one bubble out at a time? I like that lighting up. It's a little creepy. Hello? Shit. Oh, I see. Probably bubble wand in midair, maybe. Not really, turns out. Ah, that's important. So the direction I press, I can press a down to make a bubble below me. Let me make a note about that. Hold down to make bubble down. Okay, then I have to like hot swap. So left bumper. I have to do it like right when I fall. Oh, and while riding a bubble, you can make it go down slowly. Okay. Uh, while riding bubble, hold down to pilot it down. Very helpful. Okay, so we just do this then. Assume it lasts between screens. It does. That did something. It sure did do something. Cool. <laughs> Thought that was a platform. Whoa, what the fuck? It was like a bug. It's okay, I can get back there. I need to hit that switch that's through this way. It's more forgiving than it looks. I think the top of it is actually open. Okay. Oop. Okay. No, that's annoying. Anti-brute force mechanisms, I guess. Okay, got another hummingbird, which is free. Hmm. Oh, that's the only way I know there's a hummingbird there.
I can get up to it. Oh. Oh, I see. Okay. I don't, I want it to be locked in there. Got it. It's also kind of hard to make it across here. I do do new bubbles in the air. Oh, I guess I can. I don't think I appreciated that before. Shit, that's annoying. It's pretty standard uh, Metroidvania equipment, but it's based on puzzles and no combat. I don't think I have anything that's Zelda-like at the moment I can think of. Easier to cross when I didn't have... Ooh, that's annoying. This guy's got to be fast travel. Let me start stamping him. Um, put a heart for him. I just don't know how to talk to him yet. He doesn't eat bubbles. Oh, he does eat bubbles. Hello. Fast travel fish eats bubbles. God damn it. <laughs> Well, I did just save, so I can go kill myself and get back to where I was. Hold on. Where are the spikes? I'm going to get an automatic map marker from that. I guess I could do the puzzle again. Anything up here that can kill me? Oh, do bubbles? They do not hold those down. Okay. I'll just go back. It's fine. More in common with like Lana Lana, I think. Okay, so I guess I could actually cheese this room, right? Wingbird's only a problem if I have bubbles. Okay. So I know how you work now. You go. I guess I need to stamp both locations. So he goes up to. Save room. It's like here. Okay. I'll seem to go to different locations. Those are still. Sp oh, is it La Mulana spike rules? That's really mean, if so. Ah, but they can be broken. No kidding. What do we've kept that we're gonna make the beeping noise the instant you get low on health and then we're gonna make it much quieter. Whoa, hello friend. I would have prompted him to dash at me before. Just dash when you see spikes. Mm -hmm. 
some healing. This game really feels like it encourages experimentation, which is neat. Just in the level design. Oh boy. Good night, Egg. Anything else going on in this room? I need three of these. Too high. Oh, nope, not too high. I guess you, there's like a funneling effect where you can like climb on it from slightly lower than you might expect. Appreciate that. I guess this just means this guy doesn't spawn if I come back and don't have a candle. I feel like I need to save my matches. Yeah, I'm always paycheck to paycheck on matches. I can mark that it's there, I guess. Assume it matters eventually. Okay. Hey, Leon, how you doing? All right, that's convenient. Okay, none of these puzzles. Oh, there's a thing I can't get to from this part of the room. Pretty funny. Hmm. X one's all the way over there. How can I possibly? Oh, I think I see. A little bit too excited coming up here so early. Make little animal well machines. X lets me go back across. Okay, I think I understand what I'm trying to do here. Then I have to hit the double pipe one. So that he will fly over there and then hit the switch. Come on. There you go. Good job, sir. Thank you. I wish I had a better idea of what my objective was here. I feel like there's some wiggle room to get this wrong. Okay, prevent me from discussing my way up there. That's fine. So be it. Oh, this is interesting. I use that to blow the disc up. That's very cool. Okay. Uh, wind can blow the disc. change the angle on that then. This is just up now though, so it should be easier to get up there. So what can I actually reach in terms of trying to get to that? I guess I need to go to the bottom one actually. See if I can even reach it. Okay, all right. Got a 
probably then get it in there. Level one is probably an easier way of vertical travel, but I'm used to that one now. Try to re-angle that a little bit. At the wall. Almost good enough. Nice. So, make you do the sustained solution there. Oh, hello, Mario 2 USA. I can raise it. That's interesting. So we need to get in there. They already taught us how this mechanic works. And it can bounce. Come here. Nice. Nice. Beautiful. Magical. Do you see a gap on the left there? Thought so. I don't know if I can go back up and activate that, but I know it's there now, so let me mark it on the map really quick. Should be able to get there. So take it back up. Oh, that's interesting. I do you like that these are almost all presented like they're boss fights, but they're not boss fights. They're cute little animals. Animals doing their thing. E flame. Found the B flame. Do I just have a light now, like a candle? Yeah. Alright, let me try to get back up to that secret I think I saw. Oh, I see. This is where you're first forced to learn about fast travel if you didn't already figure it out. Let's see where it sends me. Kind of sent me pretty far away from where I wanted to go test. Wow, yeah, that is all the way back out. Okay, well, let me uh, head back there. I think I can get back there relatively quickly. Rain room. I guess all the puzzles are solved. Where does this go to? Did not notice the spooky ghost matter there on the right side before. 
Let me check this out. What's over here? Death. Okay, cool. Uh... So... Great egg. Great. Ouch. Let's try going along the bottom, I guess. Best kind of egg. That's how I was supposed to do this room. Jump high, that's nice. Still find this room deeply suspicious. Traffic with the normal egg is a joke. Miss what it looked like. Egg. So I have a friend here. Oh, wait, does he go back? They always connect to each other. That's interesting. Getting flushed in the turtle. have to guess, okay. In the ass theory. I can do another one once he eats it. Okay, I didn't realize that. Timing mean, that seems quite tricky. Oh, okay. I can get it though. First try.
Well, that wasn't solving the puzzle I was just working on, but it did something. Um... Unless if this is actually part of the same puzzle, which is possible still. <laughs> All right, well. Imagine I was supposed to do something in that room then that I didn't. I'll try to get back there. Get it. Give me a second. Fixed it out too bad. Okay, so there's something in here, presumably. I don't have any I never have any firecrackers. Operate on pain in the ass theory. It's gotta be somewhere it's annoying to get to. Oh, I see it. Friendship egg, my favorite kind of egg. Okay, well that's done. Save. found it yet. Coming from the right side. Okay. Never mind, that's trivial. There's a chest. Don't know where this goes. Assume that takes me back. Magic egg. Oops. Okay, I'm done with this area. I think I've tried every fish now. Make sure. Break stalactites, no problem. I can get infinite height if I'm smart about it here, and I have enough room to maneuver my bubble wand plus. But sometimes it's really hard to jump when it's that narrow and then land on the thing.
It's actually not very helpful to do that. Although maybe it is in combination. Maybe it's more helpful than I think. Ah, lame. So I still need to have a lot of room to manipulate it though for it to be helpful. I've been over there. I guess I have been over there, so maybe that doesn't. Well, maybe not from that direction. Hold on, let me just skip this. I'll move on and do something else. There we go. First try. Yeah, but that doesn't help me. Although maybe it does if I can bubble my way up here. I don't have a way to activate that thing, so none of this really helps me. Probably still get out of here somehow. Much easier when I have more space like that to work with, it feels like. Oh, is there a path through there? Okay. Come on. That just stays on, okay. Good way to make sure you learn that. Not super helpfully. So if that stays on, can I hit it? I think I've encountered green buttons that just stay on before. Let's see. Damn it. safely write this down, I guess. What end, though? What does this get me? Just back there. There's an exit northeast in that room. on that. So it must be a way for me to get up there. Not very helpful though. Yeah. 
ancient egg. Find 16 eggs. Hundred eggs. Okay. I was wrong to mark this room. That was incorrect. It's that guy. I don't think I got anything else south of here. I'm gonna start moving out. Just confirm that this fish doesn't eat bubbles. No. I guess I could just leave this way. I was coming back here with the express intent of trying to find that secret that I missed near the uh, seahorse, so I'll try to take advantage of that. Okie doke. Well, let's do this the cheesy way. Otherwise, it's very stressful. Really, why that's there. Okay. I think it's down from here. This was, this is the guy that warps me out. Down and then left. Ouch. Okay, so now I know where I need to go. I have to try to kill myself somehow if I fuck this up so I can come back. God damn it. Alright, well that works. To, like, make sure I bounce it off a part where I'm not gonna crash into a spike afterward. Nice. Uh, but there's spikes on the floor. Hmm. I don't know if I need a uh, Castlevania style ignore spikes ability there. this time. Okay. Explicitly cannot... There's annoying things in the room. This is doable. Shit. Okay. Might be able to climb in there, we'll see. a little room to place here. I 
Maybe this isn't doable. Get stuck. I'm stuck for a while, which is annoying. Come on. And I go right into the spike if I go too high. So then I really have to bubble. to aggressively try to do this instead of just getting whatever upgrade is intended to get me through there. I don't know. I, I haven't played this game enough to know the puzzle complexity of the game yet if it ranges to requiring like that kind of level of a dexterity check. It seems possible. It's hard. They didn't want me to do this. They would make this a one by one instead of a three by three, three by long. And I'm getting a better feel for the distance I have to be from the wall to be able to bounce successfully. Those spikes are up there to prevent me from doing this, but I'm surprised they're not much further down if it's not intended to be a skill check to, like, place bubbles there very precisely. Don't think I can kill those spikes. I think they're not, like, stalactites. I'm gonna give up on this in a second. I just want to see if I can get there with this life. Yeah. Might be too much work. All right, I tried. That's fine. I don't need to be down here then. I know there's a crazy room down there that's very difficult. Oh, I can hold in the A button to go, okay. And fast traveling, hold A to go faster. This thing is. I've seen that a few places. Um, do I have a thing that can work for it? I guess I'll just use this just to use something. Oh shit, I don't know what I just erased. Oh, whatever, it's fine. very helpful. Let's 
get out of here. Alright, so now I have a bubble, which is helpful. See a chest up there that we get, but those bubbles are is it's like a die to reset them if I really wanted to. Go save in the next room. Let the bubbles rise all the way up. Try to get up to that chest. Bubbles don't pop instantly. That's interesting. Didn't go left here last time. What's well, the trick? Can you not do that, though? Okay. Flip the switch again. I can bubble up there. Come on, game. You can give that to me. It's not that big of a deal. I see what I'm actually supposed to do, but... Fine, I'll go all the way around. Hit in the air, I fall straight down and get Belmonted, essentially. Fuck you! Should've just done that one first, apparently. I guess I couldn't have. Okay, I see. Gotcha, thank you, yellow light. Oh my god. I think the door is still open even though I died. Let's see. It was a lot of good ambient sound, just like not really having a soundtrack or mostly having an ambient background and then having um, just the sound effects from hitting these things all the time, right? Having rooms that have machines that just generate music, essentially. Pretty cool. Mystic egg, which is distinct from a magic egg. Okay, well that's on the other side of the egg room. Go to the egg room. I miss this. Oh, 
ominous ticking noise, which is the sound of the thing below me there. Doggo up here. take the mock disc oh yeah that room with the circle okay all right like why would it still let me take it i think i know why Just another egg. Pencil. That's pretty cool. Okay, so I could use that to like draw lines in between fast travel points. Way to draw my attention to this animal flute. Oh. Alright, so there's shenanigans. I'm gonna have to learn. I think I may have seen stuff that implied a song. Remember where it was. Didn't take a screenshot at the time. Oh, it's like the uh, Mario 2 USA door. That's cool. Oh, okay. That's pretty neat. Only counts for the ones I've already visited. So if I go here, not so much more useful fast travel than I was envisioning. I should go to each location and mark them here. So this one is... Start calling it this. Can mean warp. That's fine. Remember where this guy was? Just like at the very beginning of the game, because that's kind of cool. <laughs> I found the secret to the left, but not that one. It's cool. Oh, interesting. It's like blocked off now. Oh, it's a number of candles I've lit. Okay. The light. Light. Nine candles, return to fire screen. Figured they would have some purpose. The ones that didn't obviously do something helpful right away. Owl in that room. Right. Okay, that's cute. It's not super helpful because it's what teaches me the mechanic. Okay, so you still have the bear room somewhere. Hmm. 
What's going on down here? Stuff. Okay, so there's a hippo head. Guy down here. Oh, is he teaching me a song? Can you show me again? Up, up, left, left, or maybe right, right, left, left, down, down, up, up. So, let me just test it. Come on, dude. Right, right, left, left, down, down, up, up. I can't press it twice, though, can I? Hey, that's fun. Okay, so... Travel to center of map. Tap X to repeat note. Okay, cool. Pretty sick. I feel like the problem is once you've played Tunic, <laughs> you're looking for this everywhere, right? In every game. Um, actually, be really interested to see somebody who plays Animal Well first and then plays Tunic. Still very cool, though. Let's go back here. I haven't been here in a minute. I left here when I wasn't able to progress. Now I can. Little animals on this thing. Use those to light up rooms too. So it's less necessary now that I have the bee flame. I think I can switch it over. Ouch. Squished. Getting squished is like a Mega Man spike death, damn. Have to be able to switch this, these blocks out so I can fit along the bottom there. Just barely make it around, maybe. Right, I need to break the. But I know I can do that, so it's fine. Oh, we're here again. Oh, I got another code here. Down, right, left, upright, down, right, right. Um, down, right, left, upright, down, right, right. Am 
might be that I have to play it in a specific spot for it to work. I don't know that that's the order. It could be read from left to right or right to left or top to bottom. Let's see. have the code written down whether I can do anything with it or not I can just mention where I found it oh there's another code on the other side of the room that's probably the back half of it I see all the way over there too dark to see the map okay so oh what the fuck oh god damn it that's annoying um found in big room with ghosts traveling in v-shape there's another entrance to this room on the left side. Uh, let's see, it was here. Wish I had a music note. I guess they left that out on purpose. Should have rest of song, possibly. I love video games. Actually, I wonder if I can get up there if I jump from down here. I bet that's it. Egg. God, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. What's that? Oh, a little mouse. It's cute. <laughs> All right. Uh, reverse mouse by hitting with yo yo. You change elevator direction. This game's really good. Go see what that guy's deal is. If I can, it might not be possible. I'm gonna have to turn that elevator around on the other side of this thing. Oh, well, there's definitely something down there. So, what I want to try to do is do this. Nice. Doesn't work. They don't fit through there. That sucks. Okay, but there is a lily pad here. Come on. It's harder to time it when the wall is moving. Should be able to do it. Come on. Almost. It's really giving me trouble. I'm just having trouble landing on it at the right time. Okay. Gonna be a little mouse on this side that I can turn around. No. City and egg. I'll take an egg though. Very well. 
little stoat up here. What's up, Mr. Stoat? That target symbol is very suspicious as well. trap the kitties okay dying sucks there gotcha Start on the right. Nope. Well, I still have a problem. Even if I can get down there, I don't get down to the. I guess maybe I can pass the this guy through the floor. Yeah. around here probably go up ouch I think my yellow stuff has stayed the same though so it didn't reverse these guys huh There's a pattern to uh, using the bubble to be able to land on it consistently. I think if you like always jump and then immediately press bubble. Oh, come on. Was the thing I wanted to do. Okay, this thing. I want them going left, right. Does it matter? Right, left, I guess. this pattern again, which is interesting. Needed the yo-yo for that. I haven't needed the yo-yo in a while. That's going the wrong way. I 
No, I got squished. I need to get to a clock, don't I? Uh, or a block of phone. So I can feed this guy really fast, see where he takes me. Now they're going the other direction. Okay, cool. Now there's a phone above me. I'm just gonna see what this guy does, and then we're gonna go to the phone. Now there's a phone in the pipe there that I saw. Interesting. Whoa. Okay, I'm gonna have to leave that as a note. Um, future Marstead. Okay. This skull is a bat. You haven't figured out what to do with the bat. Uh, most of the at symbols are warp points. Uh, you have a song that's in the text file that will let you warp to the main warp hub. Whenever you find an animal face, it'll add it as a room. Look for directions for your songs. Uh, you can probably bring the mock disc from the dog room, which is near the egg room. I think it's like right above the egg room, that room right there. You can probably take that to that warpy thing is the only one that's not actually a warp. That's a circular depression. And I assume the reason they let you take the mock disc out is to put it there to open a door. Uh, these diamonds are blocked walls that you're not able to get past at the moment. Uh, hearts have been some fish fast travel points. Maybe you can use the pencil to draw lines between them so you can keep track of what goes to what. But you just recently unlocked the pencil. Uh, you have to light all of the candles to open the door in this room. Uh, you can go back to the egg room when you get a certain number of eggs. It looks like it was 8 and then 16, so maybe try again at 24. Um, and then this room, you literally just depress this guy. That's why I'm giving the future Marsha notes now. So you can probably get over there and test and see what that fish guy does. Um, I'm actually going to cause you a problem here because I think this is going to kind of sort of reset your progress. We're going to go down this guy instead of going up uh, so that I can save. But I think you actually want to be up there with the elevator going down and the other mouse elevators going the other direction. So you might need to go down here and go all the way around. Rewind the VOD a little bit and look at the puzzle I just solved so you can solve it again in case you have to. Although it's possible that fish we just passed is a shortcut. It uh, looks like you're going to have to go all the way down and around to get back up to the fish anyway. Just bad timing from where the save point was. Um, thanks for putting this on Subblock Scarfed in. This game is like absolutely my jam. I love it. I'm excited to play more of it. I can't imagine it's only seven hours. I assume that's just like to beat it. But I'm probably going to want to like find all the eggs and stuff because that's really, really high quality content. Looking forward to playing more.